you want to take a really good quality shot, not too early, but maybe give yourself a chance to get a rebound, to tip it in. And as you see right there, neither team has a foul to get. Now Dallas is down to one timeout left. For Orlando, you know, even if they get a rebound when the shot clock expires and there's three seconds, they can call timeout and advance the ball, which would give them plenty of time. The key for them is not to commit a foul here and put Dallas at the free throw line. This is the first game of our doubleheader, Chris Paul and the Clippers. Another important game for them as they fight for playoff positioning. Out at the Staples Center, their host Portland. That's coming up next. Dirk Nowitzki with 26 points. But the star in the fourth quarter has been Jason Terry, 10 of his 17 in the period. Jameer Nelson has also played well, but who's going to hit the game winner? And Mike, you mentioned free throw shooting. All very good free throw shooters. Dirk Nowitzki, 86, 87. Jason Terry, high 80s. Delonte West, Sean Marion, all very good free throw shooters. Marion will inbound. Delonte West coming up top to get it. Nowitzki coming off the screen. Gets the pass. Shot clock at seven. Nowitzki against Turkoglu. Backs in. Falling away. Puts it up. Banks it in. Oh, what a tough shot from Nowitzki. And the Mavericks take a two-point lead with 5.9 remaining. Still plenty of time for Orlando, but what a clutch shot from one of the best shot makers in the history of the game. Turkoglu right on him, Chris. That's the shot we talked to Coach Van Gundy about. Sometimes a guy just going to make a shot. Well guarded. A shot you wouldn't recommend. And the guy makes it off the glass. Like a sidewinder. Just incredible <laughs> release. And I don't think there was ever a doubt in his mind that it was money in the bank. Levitsky here in the fourth quarter has six points. And he gave him the Michael Jordan tongue wag on the way back to the bench. <laughs> Didn't take a lot of shots, but it was three points.